Shit's going down today, boys. We're uh, we're gonna wrap the interior, make her look good. So I ordered this like 5D carbon fiber wrap. Wait. This doesn't look like it does on the pictures. Bruh. Yo, so I thought I got ripped off. So, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the so from the packaging, it looks like it's not glossy like the wrap I have in mine. But when you take it off, Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna start ripping it apart. So yeah, the plan is to wrap this right here, this right here, over here, over here. We're gonna leave this for now because I got something on the way. Not gonna say what it is, but you guys should be able to figure out what it is. You won't expect it though. It won't be an obvious guess, I'll just say that. We're gonna redo over here, all the things right here. Maybe even over here too, if this is pretty easy. Well, freaking five minutes in, <laughs> the car is already in pieces. <laughs> what the frick? Oh, that's gross. That's gross. Here's what's going on right now. Got that. Got that taken off. That taken off. Two weeks later. So today's the day. The last freaking mod. Well, and so I say, the last mod of the season. One guy actually guessed what it was and I was actually super surprised that I got it. I can't remember his name, but I'll put up a screenshot right now. It's actually, instead of a cork sport steering wheel, it's actually a steering wheel wrap. So I got this wrap from a company called East Detailing. I've seen a lot of good things. I actually found it from one of the Mazda Speed Forums where a guy did it. He did like a full suede one. If you guys saw Jose's interior in the last video, you would have seen like the full suede steering wheel. He got it from the same company. I just went a little different. So I got half perforated leather and half carbon just to like match up the freaking carbon wrap that you guys saw me do earlier in the video. So as you can see, this is three videos in a row with a new part. You guys want a new parts? I'm freaking doing it. So I have a disclaimer. If you have a Mazda Speed 3 and you're buying it from this company, I will mention that it's actually meant for a Mazda 3 steering wheel and not a speed three steering wheel. It'll fit like pretty much almost perfect, but not like perfect, perfect. So for some reason I got super lucky and this freaking guy, Jose has an extra Mazda three steering wheel. We're gonna like transfer over all the buttons and shit. He just happens to have an extra steering wheel. So we're gonna use this and then I'll have my leftover Mazda speed three steering wheel just sitting. If any of you guys are looking to buy my steering wheel, I'll put it up for sale. If someone wants it, I'll, I'll sell it. I don't really care. I'm not gonna have any use for it, but yeah. I'm excited. This is literally going to complete my interior. Jeez. You guys seem to be loving Jose on the videos. And his freaking car too, man. Can't lie though. She pretty clean, man. She pretty clean. And this guy's already going at it. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Third video in a row. I know. You're right? in. <laughs> People seem to be liking you in the videos, eh? I guess so. And it's kind of confusing. Like, honestly, like, I don't understand. Do people watch the whole video? I have so many comments where people are saying like, yo, what is this? What is that? And they're asking about your car, not my car, as if it's my car. <laughs> like, I had one guy asking me like, what, like where he got like the carbon covers from or some shit like that, as if it was my car. I'm like, buddy, this is not my car. Yeah, my car looks a little bit different under the beard than yours. Even outside. You know? Yeah, exactly. But for some reason, people think it's my car. Like, I make it very obvious that it's his car or your car and this is my car. I mean, you're always showing it too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I will give you a little teaser. I am going to be doing a full review on Jose's car. He just has to finish up his tuning. And he has like a bunch of vacuum leaks right now with his blow-off valve. So he's going to fix that and get that sorted. But I promise you when that shit is sorted, we're definitely going to do a freaking full review on this car. It's going to be freaking sick. I'm going to put a lot of effort into that video. So first things first. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Okay, so here's the steering wheel wrap. So I got the red stripe in the middle. I got the red stitching and then I got the half carbon and this is called like perforated leather. So it's going to look, so well, it's kind of hard to show right now. Here, it's going to look something like that. I think that's it's going to look really good. Bottom, that's the top. 
easier to set. So you guys see what I was trying to do. I, I carbon wrapped, like 5D carbon wrapped the interior just to match this. So that was kind of like the vision behind it. So hopefully it turns out pretty good. And I actually really like the way the perforated leather feels. I wanted to do the, the full suede, but I were construction and I didn't want to like fuck it. I knew I would fuck it up over time. So this made more sense. <laughs> I want to get my tail lights done. Like, yeah, tail lights for sure. And so I was trying to do it myself. The tail lights? Yeah. Like don't do. Don't wrap. Oh, spray it. Yeah. No, no, it's great, but the place that sells custom mixed beans, they don't fix clear. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap, so while he's doing the steering wheel wrap or whatever, yeah, steering wheel wrap, I'm gonna wrap these in carbon, so this is gonna be fun. And then I'm also gonna wrap these in carbon, That that's gonna be fun, but we'll see what happens. All right, so you guys noticed that I obviously did the interior 5D carbon. Looks really good. There's just one problem. So over here, it just started completely like peeling up everywhere. So I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm just gonna freaking like heat it up right now, like put it in and then I'm just gonna like cut around like right here just to like get rid of it, like whatever. It's gonna show like the black, but it could be worse. It's better than that than like this shit. All right, so I'm wrapping all the window switch covers. So I'm doing that while Jose is gonna start stitching it to the actual steering wheel. Guys, honestly, this looks pretty freaking good, man. Holy shit. The next day. Okay, so it's the next day and here is the finished product. Whew, boys, what do you freaking think? Honestly, who needs a cork sport steering wheel, whatever, custom steering wheel? when you can literally spend like a third of the price and get something as nice as this. Like guys, also look at the freaking stitching Jose did, shout out to him. Did an amazing job, really looks freaking good. It honestly feels really good just driving. I like how it's like a little thicker and um, yeah, you guys know what I mean. Yeah, I, I really like that. Wait, okay, that. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But yeah, even like the carbon like wrap over here, I think I did a pretty good job right here. I'm actually really proud of myself for that. This looks really good. Man, what do you boys freaking think, man? So here's a little view right here. Whew, damn bro. This actually looks so freaking clean and it just matches everything. I even wrapped like right here. That's what I was doing while Jose was doing the steering wheel. I wrapped all these. You can see it over there. Jesus guys, this interior man is freaking insane. I'm not gonna lie to you, I may be pulling the trigger on some interior LED lights, we will see. Here's how she's looking guys. Even like, okay, I'm not gonna lie, the carbon doesn't really match with like the wrap and the carbon it comes with, but you won't really notice it unless you like point it out, but man. Yes, I know, I know, there's fake carbon everywhere, but honestly guys, it makes more sense to me because I bought all this wrap, like it literally covered everything perfectly for like only $25 rather than paying like hundreds of dollars to hydro dip it. It's just not worth it for me. I'd rather just wrap it and call it a day. It still looks half decent. So I'm really happy with how this shit turned out. Okay, so right now we're doing an oil change. So the reason why we're doing an oil change is you guys gotta stay tuned for my next video. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, my YouTube, you would have seen that I did a poll on my Instagram and my YouTube. What would you guys prefer for me to do at the track? Either roll racing or like open lapping because it's gonna be at the same day at the same time. So we're gonna see, but I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do. You'll see, you'll see like the day of, but 
I may disappoint some people, but I'm doing what I want to do. And it was like literally 50-50. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're just doing an oil change right now. We're getting it all prepped up and shit. Just uh, changing the oil right now. She's just dripping right now. We're just waiting for it to all go out and then we'll change the oil filter. But yeah, guys, I am freaking excited. So if you guys are excited, definitely make sure you stay tuned for my next video. Yo, I am so freaking excited to track this car. We're just getting her all prepped up. Everything's good to go. We just need to change the oil. I was due for an oil change anyways, and it's good to have fresh oil for the track. I'm freaking excited. So yeah, we actually got my girlfriend to help me out with the oil change. So that's pretty cool. She's uh, she's gonna fill up the oil. She just uh, drained the oil for her first every time, so that was pretty uh, cool. Getting her all prepped up, boys. I hope you guys are excited, man. I am so freaking excited. Let's go. Thank you for doing my oil. Look at that. That uh, fresh Moto 8100. You already know we put the good shit in here, man. She's gonna be ready for the track, boys. I'm excited. I hope you are too. But yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the new steering wheel mod. It actually looks pretty freaking sick. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm really happy with the interior. But I hope you guys are freaking excited for the next video. We got the new freaking track vlog coming out. I know you guys have been wanting to see me track the car for a while, so I'm definitely going to do that for you guys. Stay tuned for my next video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay consistent. Peace.